Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome you back to another episode of our Planet Zoo franchise mode. Let's play. We're gonna dive right back into Elite Zoo South. There is, as always, a tremendous amount to get done today. And I'm very excited to be diving into, well, hopefully a very progress-filled episode. I've got a lot planned. I think the first thing we're going to do is, again, more or less immediately, uh, dive into a time lapse, take care of some of the beautification elements that we've been discussing over the past handful of elements. Um, there's a lot of, uh, well, apart from the new structures that we put down last session, there's also some names that need to go down. There are some uh, decorative elements here and there. We've got some sponsor boards as well. Again, thank you all for letting me know what you'd like to kind of sponsor and whatnot. So we'll be getting those down today as well. Uh, might even get some work done on lighting, but at that point, I feel like I'm being a little too... Uh, uh, let's be honest with ourselves. There's only so much we'll be able to accomplish at, uh, at one go, but uh, but I really hope to accomplish as much of it as possible today, because then with our next session, we'll be looking to add yet another new animal. And some of you have uh, already been... Well, I guess we've already mentioned what the plan is for the next animal, but it seems that uh, there's still some hesitation with regards to what it might be. So you know what? We'll keep the mystery in the air, and when the time comes, you'll find out with the uh, session after this one. At least that's the plan right now. Again, plans are never set in stone. Things can always change. But I do believe we'll be able to uh, to, 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 to dive in with a new animal uh, next time. It should be, should be good. I can't imagine things will go too uh, horribly wrong today. I mean, I say that, but uh, we all know what my luck can be like. There are a couple of things I want to do before we dive into the... Hold on a second. Is this guy... Oh, okay. Like, as I was scrolling by, I thought he was headless. Because the, the blue of his arm looked like the top of his, like, it looked like the collar of his, uh, his top, and I was like, wait, <laughs> does this man not have a head? No, he very much does, but I guess he's sweating. We do need to get some, uh, some more coolers down and stuff like that, eh? Yeah, a couple coolers here and there would not be a bad idea, but that's not what I wanted to do before the time lapse, but I can put one down over here real quickly. I don't know, I've been, I've been trying to stay on top of this, but, uh, it just, it feels weird to put a cooler down every 10 steps, you know? It's just like, Especially when it's under tree cover, and I understand... Well, it's a, it's a couple of things. Like, I understand, okay, a tree cover isn't necessarily enough. I also understand that coolers have a limited range when you're outdoors, obviously. Like, that just makes perfect sense. But it's like, come on, man. Like, you're not gonna... You're not gonna break a sweat walking for less than 10 seconds in a slightly warm area, you know? Like, you've got 20 degrees and 20 degrees on either end. Is, is a couple of steps of 35 really gonna kill you? Really? Being dramatic at that point, I feel like. You know, it, it kind of feels weird. It's just like, how many more um, how many more coolers am I supposed to put down uh, per square foot or what have you? Anyway, sorry. I've, I've let myself get distracted. Gonna move on from our uh, from the man that I thought was headless. And uh, focus instead on, yes, the couple of things that I wanted to tackle before we uh, dive into uh, to our time lapse. Again, it's not going to take very long at all. Uh, the first order of business is actually with regards to a staff name. Now, again, usually I do these uh, all at once, but uh, if I get, you know, one here, one there, then I don't think it's uh, that much trouble to, to go in and uh, and get a new uh, staff name to sign. We have just one new name that's been uh, requested, so I'm going to go ahead and make ourselves a new uh, keeper here today. Go ahead and rename you. Again, the request was for any, uh, any staff member, so... Uh, Gonna go ahead and do a keeper because we've got so many unnamed keepers and our newest keeper is sound of under it's funny when i first read when i first like typed out my notes for uh for for the name i was like i i almost typed it out as sound of down under i thought it was a play on like australia and then i was like wait hold on i need to double check that i don't think that's what i what i what i read I was taking these notes really early in the morning. I'm not a morning person, so I was in that fugue state of just like basically just having woken up without that first cup of tea in the morning. It's just like, pretty sure I read that wrong. Anyway, I want to get that done. And apart from that, uh, I did want to get down the name for our merch store over here. Right, that's what it was. Sorry, that hesitation there was me checking those very same notes I was talking about. So Just a Memento will be renamed now to Just a for laughs just like the tv show except without the exclamation mark so they can't sue me no i'm kidding obviously i do believe the name of the tv show is with the exclamation mark but just for laughs uh i like all the same without the exclamation mark that's how it's kind of uh, i'm pretty sure the the anyway, anyway, again getting, letting myself get distracted it's been a it's been a long it's been a long year already folks 
I was gonna say it's been a long day, so pardon my uh, my uh, my ramblings, but uh, but that that's a lie. It's not just been a long day; it's been a long year already, and it's it's not even halfway through February, almost, but not quite. Anyway, folks, that's all I really wanted to do before we dove into the time lapse. Our time lapse will not just center around this area, though. I mean, primarily it'll be around this area, but we might actually venture over to the Africa sections and stuff as well. A little bit of work to do here and there that um, uh, we might get to. We might get to. But of course, this like this eyesore will need to be solved. Uh, as was pointed out, like this is very kind of like not pretty compared to how pretty this section is otherwise. But we're going to sort that out. We're going to make this work a lot better than it does right now. In fact, we might even push it back a little bit now that I actually get down to eye level and look around. We might even push it back a little bit and uh, and just sort out how the space looks overall. Anyway, folks, it's time lapse time. All right, folks, I am very pleased with how this time lapse goes. We actually managed to accomplish a fair bit. Not everything that I wanted to, but I think we all knew that was coming. Let's be honest with ourselves. First order of business is to get the uh, name assigned for our hyena enclosure. Again, based on the poll from the previous episode, uh, an overwhelming victory for Cheku Asani. I believe is how that's that's I, I I believe that's how that's pronounced. I got a bit of a pronunciation guide, and I, I hope I'm reading that correctly. But uh, but Cheku Hassani, not Hassani, Hassani. Again, feel free to correct me if I'm horribly wrong. I would uh, greatly appreciate that. But it means uh, the treasure of laughter, which I think is absolutely beautiful. Uh, I did get a couple of I, I got a, a many suggestions, and I, I kind of like whittled it down to a few that I uh, I like for a variety of reasons. And, uh, and of the three that I, I, I kind of put up there for, uh, for, for voting, uh, this one got 143 votes. In second place, we had uh, Madoa Tabasu, which means spots and smiles. That had uh, 79 votes. And then Hyena Hideout had 50 votes. So uh, I would say that Cheku Hassani won by a, uh, a fair bit, actually. Overall, 52% of the vote, approximately. But, uh, but a fair bit in front of second place. I think... Uh, I think the, uh, the 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 call there was uh, was clear, but yeah, I, li I like the name quite a bit. I like the meaning of it quite a bit. The treasure of laughter. There's something kind of poetic and beautiful about it. So uh, again, thank you all for the suggestions. Do keep them coming. I would not be able to come up with this kind of stuff. This is absolutely excellent. I love this kind of community built, uh, you know, aspect of stuff. So thank you, and yes, please do keep it coming. Uh, next up over here, I'm actually sort of responding to a piece of feedback that I got basically immediately after we put up the, uh, uh, I believe officially it's called the Aboriginal flag. Um, uh, from for, for the uh, Australian uh, indigenous population specifically, um, but uh, but you know previously I had the stripes, which of course looks like the flag of another country. Uh, and at first I was like, well, it's 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 fine. It's it's not the flag. The the ratios are all wrong. It's fine. But it was basically more or less like a universal response of like, yeah, that doesn't quite look so correct. Um, so very well, I decided to make it a bit more of a direct reference to the flag itself and replace the uh, central stripe with a circle. So it actually looks more like the flag. And I really hope that that's not inappropriate. Uh, I imagine it's okay. I know flag laws can be very different across different parts of the world. So please let me know if I'm, uh, you know, if something's up here that I should be aware of. But uh, yeah, fun fact, flag laws can be very different in different parts of the world. Some places uh, it can be uh, a criminal offense to... Uh, to improperly treat the flag, uh, you know, when you uh, when you put it up, when you take it down, if you're hoisting the flag or, or taking it down, or uh, it like it shouldn't ever touch the ground, how it's supposed to be folded, etc., etc. It can or cannot be worn as uh, attire. Um, you you can or cannot use it as a decorative element. There's like there's all there's again different uh, countries uh, have different rules with regards to to flags. So just. A weird sidebar there but just let me know because uh, i i wouldn't know obviously i feel like this is a perfectly uh acceptable and 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 respectable uh approach and that's kind of the intent here after all right so hopefully it uh <laughs> hopefully it comes across uh next order of business is to put up some of these sponsor boards now uh, again, as always, just kind of like mulling about with regards to how we can best uh, use the pieces available to us. I came across this absolutely beautiful and adorable piece of art. I would love to own, like physically own something with this artwork on it. I, I like it's just absolutely adorable. And I thought, why not have it face the uh, enclosure so that guests on the other side can see the, uh, the art. But on the inside, we'd put up our uh, actual sponsor boards, our sponsor names. Uh, that way we have a flat surface because otherwise the game wouldn't really cooperate. Now, Mike and Something Else is our first uh, sponsor implemented for the Dingoes. 
We've been waiting for a very long time. I appreciate your patience, but I got that request, I think like maybe like the week after the the the, the, the Australia DLC dropped, the request came in. So that's Mike and something else. And then we have Seb L as our second sponsor for the Dingoes as well. Two more coming. I figured we'd like share this space like this because I quite like how it looks. It feels... I really like how it looks on the back of this, you know, what looks like a surfboard or shield, basically. Uh, but then we've got uh, It's Taylor and Bethany Shane as well, sponsoring the Dingoes. Again, thank you very much for the support, of course. And, uh, you know, the, the, the animals would thank you as well. Again, I, I, I love this whole sponsor board idea. I just, I'll, I'll never stop mentioning it, and I apologize. I just think it's such a cool and integrated approach. Um, next up, we have a new sponsor for the Giraffes. This is Emily Meharg. Uh, please let me know if I pronounce that last name incorrectly or the first name as well. I mean, you know, can never be too sure, but feel free to correct me. I do apologize. Uh, but yes, Emily Meharg sponsoring the giraffes. Uh, and then next up, we head on over to the Yellow Anaconda where Jacqueline Britt, is it Jacqueline Britt or Jacqueline Britt? Let me know, please, um, is sponsoring the Yellow Anaconda. And over here, I had a bit of a field day. I was like, <laughs> so normally we uh, we make a little like box kind of a thing around the education um, a board or what have you. But here I was like, yeah, let's let's try something different. Is there like a snake element we could use? And lo and behold, there is one. So I was like, all right, let's let's experiment. <laughs> um, at first I was really struggling, and you can see because like I don't I'm okay with the arrow bit kind of showing, but I'm not really okay with that uh, bottom section of of the the, the signage showing where like the post would go through. So I decided instead of having just the one snake background there, we're going to kind of layer it, add a bit more depth to the to the area. And uh, and I'm definitely a, a lot more pleased with how it ends up looking once we uh, adjust the curves over here. Plus, it looks like, you know, it's a bunch of snakes moving around. Um, but uh, but yeah, overall, a bit of an experiment over here. Um, always, always fun to, to... This is another reason why I like the sponsor boards. Like, they're all so very different from each other. They're, they're fun to play around with. And actually, on the topic of different, this one, um, I had this idea the moment someone requested a, uh, a sponsor board for the hyenas this idea came to mind so wendy is our sponsor uh for the hyenas today and uh and i've got uh in my head i almost see it as like um well like think of it like graffiti um except like historical graffiti that's supposed to be like a dig site right so think of it like it's supposed to mimic graffiti that's been around for a very long time um, so, you know, using a different typeface for it and all that kind of stuff. Now, graffiti is a very old thing. Like, you'll find, uh, you know, tags. Like, you know, like, I'm using tag in, like, the modern way as we do when we're talking about, like, graffiti. You know, you'll find tags uh, on ancient monuments and stuff. Uh, graffiti is, is a very old, uh, you know, art form. Um, and, I mean, you think about, like, you know, cave paintings and stuff as well. But I'm, I'm talking just, like, yes, graffiti in, like, you know, like a like a party was here kind of a uh, way it's totally a thing so i was like you know if we're doing this dig site why don't we like double down on that and have this like historical touch to it uh get us to use a different typeface and stuff so uh so thank you very much wendy again for sponsoring the hyenas uh and of course for the support from all of y'all uh who've decided to sponsor the animals or take on staff names or do both again you know welcome to do both and to sponsor multiple animals i want to make it clear though i do get this question a lot in the comments and i want to make it crystal clear because i have you know, I apologize if I make it confusing or if I'm unclear about it, but sponsorships and staff naming is for channel members and patrons. It's an extra perk uh, for channel members and patrons. And so uh, just just to be clear, if you do want to get an animal sponsor board or you want to get uh, your name in as, as a staff member, um, that's the uh, that, that's kind of like it's it's a perk for for members and uh, and uh, and uh, and patrons. Um, back on task so that's all the uh, sponsors that we had to uh, get in today so i wanted to work on this next uh, it was brought up that this kind of sticks out like a sore thumb and i wholeheartedly agree it's rather ugly compared to how beautiful the rest of the space is um but i felt as though like as soon as we like integrate it a bit better it will feel um less well i i guess it kind of goes hand in hand you know if 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 something that sticks out like a sore thumb is made to integrate it won't stick out anymore so it won't be that sore thumb and i feel like getting these rocks in we, we do some more work with trees uh getting the the actual um you know building elements like the, the the covering on the building and the rooftop garden kind of thing going as well i feel like that really does help and we do some work with the trees which i think really does bring it all together um excellent point by the way by the by by, by many of you who, who brought up that like hey what why are you just putting down a bunch of trees if you just put the 
actual like coverings on the building that helps reduce the radius significantly and it's like right of course keeps slipping my mind because i'm so used to like doing like super custom ones that it, it, it slips my mind but i do really like this 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 set that came with the aquatic dlc i think it's really quite nice um it's simple i know but there's something about it and when you swap the color to the right color it's just nice vibrant little spotlight i guess uh, but yes, adding some trees now to make it feel like it's, you know, within the forested area. Tuck it away a little bit, make it a bit more mysterious and hidden and just cover it up a bit. And, and again, helps prevent it sticking out, as I was mentioning earlier. Uh, looking for, again, forests or like vegetation that are both from Africa and from Australia for either side. And trying to find things that curve appropriately without blocking the tracks or anything. But that's actually going to be the last thing we do with today's time lapse. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, let me know down below if you did or didn't. Um, but yeah, back to uh, regular speed. All right, folks, we are back from the time lapse, and I gotta say, I am actually quite pleased with how that one went. I was a little worried we wouldn't get uh, as much done as I'd like realistically hoped for. I know I set the bar very, very, very high as we were going into the time lapse. Like, yeah, we'll do lighting, we'll do this, we'll do that. But I think we all knew realistically that wasn't going to uh, <laughs> that wasn't going to be the case. But we did get uh, quite a bit done. We got some of those sponsor boards in. We did manage to update the uh, flags as well. We got the name in over here. We've got uh, this area fixed up as well. Which uh, honestly, the uh, the rock work and the tree work, uh, I think, really does help this uh, space feel a lot better. I feel like it tucks it away nicely as we kind of like as you kind of like walk by now. It's sort of yeah, it's, it's sticking out the, the the woods over here. But I mean, I, again, if, if you're looking in this direction then I've already, you know, we've already failed, so to speak. Um, because you, you, you shouldn't be looking in, in, in the direction of these buildings to begin with. You should hopefully be looking, uh, you know, up over here. You should be hopefully looking down this way or, or over towards the, uh, you know, the, the, the nice buildings over here or, or, or the, the enclosure itself. Um, so I feel like we've done, we've done pretty well over here. I might fill up some of these gaps though. Like there are a couple of spots over here that maybe we'll add some more bushes, but I feel like I want to add some, uh, uh, some green bushes if we're going to do that. Let me go ahead and pick some out over here. I do believe we have, yeah, a couple of these guys. Again, they're they're trees, but they double up as bushes if we uh, want them to, right? I, f I find the game doesn't have uh, a decent variety of, of, of bushes um, just in general. And so this is just a quick and easy way to kind of get that uh, job done. We'll add a couple more down over here. I think we can add some uh, shorter trees. I'm trying to keep it like Australian on one side and uh, African on the other. Um... We can add a couple more trees down over here as well to just break up this uh, this texture as well. I don't want to overdo it either. I, Despite the fact that I am, yes, making some walls, you know, brick by brick and whatnot, I am trying to be cognizant of uh, our piece count where we can be. Of course, to, to build certain things, we have to have high piece counts, but that's why we have to be uh, cognizant of it in other places such as uh, such as this but uh, but yeah it's, it's coming together i feel like that's uh, pretty good we've, we've got this going on over here this one ramp feels a lot better than two ramps and we can for sure of course replace this with the appropriate path uh staff path there we go uh but apart from that I mean, i'm sure everything else i've touched on over the course of that time lapse as we uh, looked at things so why don't we go ahead and switch gears based on the uh, the feedback i've received it seems like the vast majority of you would prefer that we do not do a tour actually and the, instead of a tour we just spend some time with some of the animals uh and the difference i guess would be just that uh, walking along the path versus not walking along the path because typically what we do is we walk along the path and we stop at the animals at the viewpoints and whatnot uh but it seems to be that the general consensus is it'd be nice to just kind of spend some time with the animals um uh, more so than not so we'll go ahead and do that uh and and, and just kind of see them in action you spend some time you know close up on them and and, and just looking at how they behave what they do uh, I'm hoping that as I unpause, we're not going to get too many interruptions today. You know what? Let's go ahead and take a look at the zoo. Take a look at the animals. Honestly, tempted to just like put everybody on contraceptives. <laughs> That's obviously not uh, the way to go about it. Obviously, go ahead and put you guys on contraceptives for sure. Um, we have you. Put you on contraceptives. My my concern is that if they become adults while we're doing our little tour and then they start, you know, inbreeding, I'm gonna have to get interrupted. And so I'm trying to avoid that by uh, by getting these contraceptives on there nice and early. Uh, and so this kind of doubles as like a bit of a management situation as well as a tour situation. So, uh, you know, a bit of column A, a bit of column B. And again, as I say tour, you know what I mean. So this, I, I still consider it a tour. It's just a slightly evolved version of the tour as we were doing them uh, previously. I think it's the right way to put it. Uh, yeah, all good here. A lot of these Titan beetles, they're going to start uh, freaking out pretty soon. So we're going to take a look at them and make sure that they are uh, not going to interrupt us either. This is where like doing these like real-time you know, tours 
I was I was gonna say walkabout, but like as like a generic term, like walking about, not like the you know or specifically a walkabout. You know what I mean, right? Um, but d doing this kind of thing in real time is always a little stressful because of those constant notifications. Uh, you're bound to miss one, you know, because it's important to remember when I'm recording, I'm not just uh, playing the game. I'm playing the game and I'm talking about stuff. I'm focused on what I'm hovering over or, or, or talking about or managing at the time. And so that results in a little bit of, you know, tunnel vision from time to time where it's like, okay, I might miss something up over here because I'm looking down over here and I'm explaining something or I'm reading something and I'm explaining something. And that always is like a, a, a source of some stress at the very least. But uh, hopefully... By going through all this at the beginning over here, we're going to avoid those issues. Uh, we have to do a couple more things. That is uh, over at the uh, gorillas. We want to make sure. Last session was actually pretty good. Last session, it doesn't seem like they managed to. Uh, doesn't seem like they counted this as an escape. So that's great. Now, by the way, I, I've been getting a lot of tips with regards to how to do this. And just as a reminder, uh, the water over here is flowing uh, through up over here. So I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Well, I mean, I guess I could actually. Or is it separated? I think I actually did end up separating it. Okay, so I could... If I raise the train over here, unfortunately, it would look pretty bad. That was the thing. I could try and remove this and hope that the concrete gets used as the barrier. We'll, we'll tackle that some other time. I really don't feel like it right now. I'll be completely honest. I'll just do this. It's worked a couple times. It worked last session. I just don't feel like going back over here and reinventing the wheel when we've done something that, again, I've said this countless times, being a bit of a broken record. But we know this works. It's worked in the past. So hopefully it'll, it'll just keep working. Cool. Um, that and then the Titan Beetles, right? We want to make sure that they don't uh, uh, get all grumpy in the middle of this uh, little tour of ours as well. Now, again, we're, we're checking as many boxes as we can early on, but ultimately, at the end of the day, um, something is bound to, you know, quote-unquote, go wrong, as it were. All right, what are we looking at over here? Aitana and Marco can stay. All right, so... We have our, whoops, over here. But all Aitana and Marco. Where you at, buddy? Marco, Marco, there you are. Everybody else. The Trade Center. Wonderful. Oh, that should be pretty good. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to try and cover as many animals as possible. I have to be very cognizant of the time and stuff as well, obviously. Let's go ahead and unpause and start, well, beginning, I suppose, with our lovely, lovely Crocs. Man, they look the 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 glistening action is just absolutely spot on. Look at those like battle scars over there. <laughs> I mean, I I, I find uh, I was I was about to say is this like, you know, like we'll be spending naturally we're gonna be spending a bit more time among the fuzzier animals, especially if they have uh, babies. But uh, I find like different animals have different uh, appeals, right? Like for me, Crocs are just like. Baby crocs are pretty cute, but like adult crocs are just like absolutely <laughs> They're metal, you know, this is like Look at that. That's terrifying. Can you imagine being chased down by that moving at that pace? Also, it's just cool to see some of the animations in action, too Plus can't start this tour without starting from like I said at the beginning right here. We go. Yeah, like I'm glad we caught this And such a good job with these Much like us, buddy's uh, chomping at the bit to get more uh, get more animals in, eh? God, <laughs> good stuff. I love that animation though. It's just I, that's why I always put these down. Oh my god, it's been possessed. Oh, wicked. All right, cool. I don't think we have. Where are other guys? Got a couple of swimmers over here. Oh, there we are. There we are. Oh, look at that. See, like that that is cute. Oh, look at this guy. Deep. You, like, lost or something, buddy? <laughs> Just so nicely animated and everything. Especially these, like, underwater uh, moments. Like, even when they seem still, they're not. You know what I mean? Like, because of the floating action. Look at this guy over here. Still haven't caught them uh, snacking on those underwater snacks, eh? Maybe someday. Maybe someday. But it's great to see the crowds forming on the other side over here as well. Liking it. Eh. I was hoping the sunlight would, like, cut through nicely. We sort of get that transition as it goes from dark to light, but I guess not. His guess, great. 
Next up, we've of course got Llama Lane with our massive crowd of llamas, actually. Any major alerts or warnings? Vet research complete. Dangerous fighting due to overcrowding, of course. I believe we have Goyo and Chahaya. We have a lot of babies in here, actually. Let's send you to the. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's release you to the wild. Let's do it. Go for it. We've, our trade center is filling up. It'll be some time before we do a trade session. All right. We have a lot of llamas, man. Holy crap. We have a lot of llamas. It's funny as well. Looking around. Look at this congregation over here. Oh, I see. Because there's food coming. I was like, why are they all up over here? Whoa. Bit of a jumper over here. Um, it's, it's funny coming back over here. Now, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't bring this back up. Uh, because I'll probably get the uh, reaction I don't want. But it is funny to think back upon the uh, the green kind of mossy grass ground and whatnot and, and the back and forth we had when it was first put down. That was a long time ago now. That was a long time ago. Oh my god, that was like what, middle of last year or something? I'm trying to remember when uh, how far back this uh, this goes. But uh, but it is funny to think, think back on uh, on those moments and the hesitation there. But I'm quite happy with how it's ended up and I think it's, uh, it's definitely grown on me. I think it grew on me quicker than it grew on many. But uh, I quite like how it looks, and it definitely captures that Machu Picchu feel a bit better, I think, as well. Look at that speed at which they run down the steps. I am glad they're able to, like, interact with the stairs and everything. They're able to go up and walk around and everything. And uh, and this definitely worked out nicely as well as a way to prevent their escape. So, very pleased with that. There, How many of you are there here? This is like a full-on crowd, eh? They're also all congregated at one spot. Well, this is cute. Make a nice swimming action over here, maybe. How attack cleanliness is disease risk. Pretty sure it's going to be uh, the llama, like llama lane. This worked out nicely. Man, it is wild to think back at, at some of our moments over here. Um, just like, oh, thinking about this transition over here and like how much of a nightmare it was to try and get the water to work and ultimately we just have to give up. I still don't know what caused the trouble from way back when. We tried everything, looked at all the suggestions, tried all the permutations and variations and nothing really worked. So it is what it is though. But uh, Batsumama's garden. Still extremely popular, very crowded over here, always good to see. Those baby bears tape here, I think, draw a lot of attention. Um, though right now I can't see any- oh, there we go. Hey, buddy. Yeah, everyone's here to see you. Oh, no, you're lying down. Oh, my God. All right, avert your eyes. Here comes the light. They're so cute. As if they weren't cute enough, this one has to yawn. I mean, like, that was adorable. I think that goes without saying. That was adorable. And, I mean, the adults look adorable as well, to be fair. The babies are just, obviously, naturally, the babies are cuter. But, like, they're just an all-around cute animal. Where are my giant ant eaters? There you are. Hey, buddy. Never thought I called an ant eater cute, but here I am. They are definitely a very interesting, like, shape. They're one of the most interestingly shaped animals, I would say. It's a very, it feels so, like, unfamiliar, you know? I really like this space as well. Pachamon's garden I'm really, uh, really happy with. It's, it, you know what's really funny as well is, um, ever since I've made Pachamama's garden, um, ooh, look at those scars, man, the details and stuff are so cool. Uh, but yeah, ever since I made Pachamama's garden, I have heard Pachamama in my, like, day-to-day -day life not very often, but like more often than ever before. It's one of those funny things where it's just like once you uh, are exposed to something, it just occurs more often in your life, that kind of a thing. That was just weird. It was like a, I think it was a movie or something I was watching the other day, or no, it was a TV show or a movie that I threw on in the background and it came up and I was like, oh, wait, hang on a second. I, I know what this is. <laughs> Whoa, what is this? Oh, vet picking you up, I guess. Fair enough. Where's our sleeper? Oh, still taking a little nap, buddy. Years to be the case. They're just so adorable. <laughs> Those ears, just I can't ever get enough. All right, good stuff. <laughs> Moving on, let's take a look at our uh, capuchin. Now, again, unfortunately, with the capuchin, 
we've been having this like breeding issue. I've been getting some more suggestions with regards to that, with regards to like maybe getting a new younger female or something. Maybe uh uh well that's not how it's done. Maybe like there's there's there have been a variety of, of suggestions with regards to oh come on, yes. Do it. Do it. Do it. Come on. He's like looking at it. He knows I'm looking at him. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Yes. Yes. Oh, I'm so pleased. Oh, I'm so pleased. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, I got so many uh, suggestions with regards to like, yeah, maybe it's uh, the age of the female or something. Uh, they're not infertile is the thing. There's no indication of uh, of that being the... Uh, oh, oh dear. <laughs> that's, uh, that's up there with Slender Bear. I'm going to say. That's up there with Slender Bear. Well, what is this? What are you doing? Why, why, why are you like this? Are you stuck here? You are hungry, but you got space and everything, so it's not like your registering is stuck. Uh, let me check something, though. Uh, sorry, habitat. Yeah, it's all traversable. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. This is, like, weird. I don't know if I've overcomplicated this or, or what. Move you down over here. Well, I was hesitant about some of the uh, scaffolding and stuff. I, I I think I remember mentioning this when we first built the space that the scaffolding was um, uh, something I experimented with in the like when the DLC first released. I built uh, in my showcase uh, video. I built a, a a dig site as well, very different from this one. It was sort of like a you could think of it like a prototype almost even. And in that dig site, I used scaffolding as well with the, uh, the like the bamboo scaffolding, and it didn't uh, work. Um, if it wasn't climbable, or, or I forget exactly what it was. <laughs> what is this animation? Um, but uh, but then you know we upgraded and adapted it here, and it's been working, which is great. Um, but sometimes I wonder if it doesn't cause issues. Also, let's not ever forget the uh, the little bunny rabbit made of dirt over here that was pointed out to me on Twitter. Um, I'm glad it's managed to survive all this time. We haven't mistakenly adjusted the train over here and lost it. Hey, look at these guys. They're just like they're just chilling over here. They're not doing anything at all. Like, come on. Maybe I should give them a spot to hide or something. I don't know. We'll experiment. What? Okay. Uh, move. Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> uh, that's uh, it's uh, it's unfortunate to have uh, to have those things break like that. And yeah, can't forget these guys. It just it, it amazes me like. The level of detail they've pursued on on these guys as well, like the the little uh, uh, exhibit animals as well. Like they have they have animations. I don't think I've ever seen one like I don't think I've ever seen a snake move from point A to point B. But I'm pretty sure I've seen some of the like legged animals at least move from point A to point B. So that, that's definitely a thing. Um, I think I've seen them swim as well. Yeah, especially with the uh, was the the diamondback. Uh, what is it? Terrapin? Is that is that what it is? Um, we saw that in action in my showcase uh, video, right? So, and these guys, we know they definitely move around, right? But yeah, look at that! Look at that! Like the the breathing animation. They're like they, they are properly fully animated animals. There were no corners cut or anything over here. Like I gotta give kudos for that. It's pretty great. They're blinking. They're breathing. They're you know, everything. So good. There's your body over here. <laughs> Got a little too close with the camera over here, but I'll take it. it. Really is. Look at that! Like, see, they agree with me. Devs have done a great job animating these guys. There's something about this angle, I just can't get enough of. Of these guys for too long. No, I need to zoom there. 
yeah, I don't know. I just find, uh, I just find it great that they've, like, what, what is this? What are you doing? Why are you, what are you up to? Okay, fine. Don't be up to it anymore. I'd love to catch them, uh, actually, like, moving around a bit more at some point. I don't think we'll get that lucky. I don't think we'll get that lucky. Anyway, have to move on. Let's head on up to the. I mean, do we, do we really want to get zoomed in shots of the Titan Beetles? I mean, they are they are individually modeled as well. They just make my oh, they make me very uncomfortable. I want to keep moving <laughs> up over here. We've got our frogs. I like these guys. Oh, there's so many of them. You're not complaining? No, you're not. Oh, see, I knew it. Got some problems. Fair enough, over here. Got a few too many adults hanging out. Over to the trade center with you. Thank you. Over here we got a problem as well. Incorrect ratio. Too many males, I take it. Rafiki. Despite the name, we're gonna have to move you to the trade center as well. Over with the kangaroos as well, we got some trouble. Yemba, I believe it's just you, yep, to the Trade Center, and then the, uh, here it's Tapir, getting kind of old over here, we'll move you to the Trade Center as well, might need to pull you back in, depending on what kind of options are available when the, the time comes, looks like uh, a baby joined the uh, African Wild Dogs, is that the, yeah, that, that, one, that, that happened, that happened last time. Because I, I remember the pun. <laughs> uh, Alright, back up over here. Over to our wonderful little kitty cats over here. This was another fun enclosure to build, too. Just like, again, I, I, I don't know. I, I've, I've enjoyed trying to, like, uh, quote-unquote, break the game, as it were, and, and force it into technical quandaries, technical issues, potentially, from time to time. You know, it costs a lot in ter terms of my, like, sanity, I guess, but, uh, but we ended up with some pretty fun enclosures. I mean, this one's... Uh, this one didn't work for quite some time at first, right? Like trying to get the uh, animals to, to go over and across and make sure they're able to reach everything and not... Uh... Oh, ho, ho. that's cute. He thinks he's camouflaged. So cute. Uh, but yeah, like there was there was so many struggles just to make sure like they were able to traverse the train properly. They were able to get everything. And not just them, but also the, uh, the keepers, right? The keepers have to be able to get everywhere too. So it's been... Um... This one's been fun. This one was a lot of fun. And it's been broken a couple times. You'll remember it from time to time, like the climbing would just stop working or it would count as them having escaped even though they haven't really escaped. Oh man, yes. <laughs> I feel that. That's amazing. I'm so glad I caught that. Oh yes, you too, buddy. You, you too, buddy. Oh, they're so good. Yeah, I like I, I, I like building this one a lot. I, I like building base, like all the the enclosures. I mean, we go. I, I don't know. It's been fun. We've always tried to to, to push stuff. It's been fun. Yeah, these little buildings over here as well. The little structures. Oh man, those individual sticks and whatnot. Yeah, this is the ramp that allows the keepers to come up over here, right? Yeah, good stuff. And then now over to Darwin's den. Now this is such a weird space to be in. We've like. We've reiterated the space like multiple times, like two, maybe it feels like three times between the enclosure and this like central kind of walkway space. But I really like this space. I, I, I do want to rework the typography here though, between Tortoise Tavern and uh, Galapos, Galapagos Grotto, sorry. I do want to rework the uh, typography. I want to figure something out. I still don't have any ideas just quite yet, which is why it's kind of been, uh, been, been waiting, I suppose. Also, this is fantastic. Just like the sign, the little tortoise up top. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Plus this tree brings me much joy. Just how it sticks to this little gap over here. Oh, hey, buddy. Couldn't even see this one. They're running to each other for a hug, I think. Like two ships. Oh, massive. Huge, just huge. We have more. We do have more. <laughs> Trying to cover that same ground. This is a 
I don't know, this is pretty amazing. This shot. You can see the sun setting. Now, on the topic of the sun, we shouldn't have actually come over here without first taking a moment uh, at uh, Pachamama's garden to just enjoy the fact that this exists. This was, honestly, I think this is still one of my favorite elements in this entire zoo. Just like having that little, you know, spotlight element and like figuring that out, spending the time to come up with that and, 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 and then decorating it, making it feel like it's... You know, because I didn't want to just like I didn't want to just like stick a circle in this in, in the sky and be like, yeah, look, it does this cool thing. I wanted to integrate it properly and just like figuring out how to integrate and stuff. Really pleased with that actually, and also really pleased with how that gold like shimmers as the the light kind of reflects across it differently. This is still yeah, definitely one of my one of my favorite um, one of my favorite aspects of the zoo. But but as I, as we pass, you know, different elements, <laughs> I keep calling out different things as like my favorite elements. But that 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 sun is definitely up there as the, or at least among the, favorite elements. If we pass on over through here, quite a long walk actually, and a very unique shape as well for an enclosure. Again, just like, again, messing around and trying some different stuff from time to time, but this is a very different shape for an enclosure. It's very long and thin, right? Not ever done anything like this, myself at least, so. Cool to see it work. It does work. We had to put down a bunch of water pipes and feeding areas and stuff to make sure they were always able to have access to what they needed, you know. Or they died en route from water to food, but, uh, but yeah, it's been it's been it's been good. It's worked pretty well, I think. It's that food court as well. Over to the gorillas next. Now, la was it last time or the time before last time where we saw that ma the entire family basically just chilling up over here? Oh no, what's going on? Low, how, what, man? We we took care of this intentionally before we went into this tour. And it still wasn't good enough. It was Carlos and... Oh, I guess uh, she must have died, I guess? Alright, alright, alright. Who are we keeping here? Uh, Andre and Isabel, sure. We got Andre and we have Isabel. Is she... No. Alright, fine. Go to the Trade Center. Over to the Trade Center, we need to get Isabel out. Where are you, buddy? Isabel, Isabel, Isabel. There you are. There we go. Get on the older side, that's unfortunate. We also should say farewell to Carrie. Passed away. Having her last meal, I think. I like to try and be there when they pass, but uh, obviously it's not always possible. Ooh, baby lizards over here. Where are you? You're an adult, I assume. Or are you a baby? Oh, I can't select you like this, right? Of course. Thought they work a little differently. <laughs> so zoomed in and again, equal treatment in terms of uh, quality and all that. No, not you. Are my juveniles not marked as juveniles? Also, are they upset because of the social group? I think so. Evie and Samuel. Let's go ahead and go to the trade center. There. Cool. More baby dogs coming. Alright, I gotta, man, pick up the pace. We're not gonna get to anything. I mean, I'm kind of glad that we're starting with this side, with some of the animals we haven't hung out with lately, because at least then we'll get to see some of the animals we don't often get to see lately. Look at that. This is so great. I love that this works. It makes me so happy. Entirely worth the effort. Entirely worth the effort. All right. Back to Darwin's den with the gorillas, right? Where did the gorillas go? Well, there's, there's one of you. Oh, hey. Off you go. Investigating this thing that looks vaguely like you, I guess. But, I don't know where he went, but he went somewhere. Taking a little nap over here. I love these guys. These guys are great. Love them in real life. I love them in the game as well. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that, like, shape, you know? An absolute beast. I love it. Oh, I have woken him. You gonna play with this thing? No? Too cool for it? All right, sure. Show me your buttons. That 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 works too. 
Yes. Yes, play. Oh, that was the most short-lived bit of play I've ever seen. I'm glad we caught at least something. Hoping to catch something with every animal, but... Look at that coming down the hill over there. <laughs> We're having a drink over here. It's just cool to see all the different animations, right? Even if you've like seen them in real life, it's cool to see them in the game. But it's difficult trying to stay caught up with everything. There's a lot happening at any given time, especially with some, some of these enclosures where there's so many animals. Did you literally just go up just to go back down? Well, fair enough. What are you up to, buddy? So cool. So cool. Alright. We do have our tortoises over here as well. Again, this was another fun one. This is such a different enclosure from the type I usually make. Look at all that. This is a great view. This is like the kind of stuff I was hoping for. There's just so many of them just crawling around off in the distance as the sun sets. We've got, uh, you know, the trees. It, it feels a little, just like a slice of paradise. Look at that. That, that vibrant red reflection this is the this is i'm very pleased with this enclosure as well very pleased with this enclosure as well look at that and you can kind of, you can see the uh our lighting over here that like blue kind of fog lighting that we have as well the mist kind of lighting just bringing the space to life yeah that's great I like that a lot Seems like these guys do too. Yeah, I like that a lot. And I mean, man, I know we're primarily looking at animals, but this space. Look at this. I am so pleased with this. This is great. Proper waterfall. Two proper waterfalls, in fact. Very pleased with these. And just the lighting effects and stuff as well. Just so happy with the space. Man, yeah, also one of my favorite spaces. Again, I've got I've got a lot of features that I'm very pleased with. You know, I'm actually curious. Uh wasn't planning on asking this, but now that I've been doing this, I'm curious. What's your favorite part of the zoo? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm, I'm curious. I want to know what people like. And, and if you have a reason, I, it's perfectly okay to be like, I like this just because. But if you have a reason, I'd love to know. I'd love to hear it. I'd love to know what draws you to whatever you're drawn to. Um, but definitely, like, I like these different things for different reasons. You know, like the sun versus the waterfall versus the uh, various enclosures for the various reasons. Um, but yeah, I'm just curious. Doing good, no major alerts. Uh, up over here, I mean, this is, I can't wait until this space is all filled out. Who's escaped? Of course you have. Uh, it's okay, I don't mind right now. That's easy enough. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's, it, it's, this place is going to be so busy when I basically enact all my plans. I can't wait. Soon, 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 soon. We'll be back to Africa soon-ish. Um, but yes, back up over this way. We do have our zebras and giraffes. Oh, look at that. I'm, I'm really actually quite pleased with this. I'm, I'm never satisfied with how my, like, plains areas look. I've mentioned it many times. I feel like I always... Oh, look at that, man. Look look at how the... Of course, you're taking a crap. But apart from the zebra over there that's taking a dump, <laughs> I just look at how they move and how they interact and stuff. And even the giraffes off in the distance over there. It's their silhouettes even, you know? I am... I am... Uh, I'm pleased with this, uh, with, with these planes as well. Like I was saying, right? Like normally, I feel like I don't do a very good job of, uh, of the planes. Oh, look at that. off in the distance, that like glowing orange against the uh, dark blue background. But yeah, normally I don't do a very, in my opinion, at least, good job of the uh, the planes kind of spaces. But this one, this one feels real good. Got that giant like oasis kind of vibe going over here. Oh, you can have a drink. wanted to watch this because like I know the way they kind of form up their legs and stuff but it's just cool to see it in game right kind of funny that they're like at this angle but or right, I'll take what I can get pretty neat just pretty neat to see it all kind of in action uh, but yeah I mean again like we've got a little bit of undulation we've got this interesting you know feature down over here of course with the the boat that I don't know how many people are actually using hopefully more people will use it once uh this space gets a bit more crowded but uh 
you no, know, neither here nor there for now. I'm pretty pleased with these like viewing points as well. These viewpoints, viewing points, viewpoints. You know what I mean. Uh, over here we've got the warthogs. Glad we came back and revisited their space as well, and and gave them their own space. Now I do need to put a name down over here, and I'll do that soon. I've got a name picked out. I just, you know, I don't want to interrupt our little tour here right now. Um. You know what, hang on a second. Before we even look at the Warthogs, I feel bad because I did inadvertently and unintentionally skip past these guys. Hello. My apologies. Please accept them. Also such fascinating... I'm, 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 I'm very glad that we did uh, a joint enclosure for these guys as well. There was a little bit of back and forth with regards to doing that. Maybe like, you know, hesitation um for myself as well as from in the comments but i'm very happy with the uh, the space we gave them a nice big space i'm very pleased with how like this overall area looks it's again very different from anything we've attempted before very different from anything else at elitsu south even um you know just ignore elitsu north but even elitsu south there's nothing quite like it and uh like you know it's got these really cool elements as well like these water features the rooftop garden kind of stuff going on still have to integrate uh Let's use the washroom. Uh, still have to integrate the um, the the station, obviously, but uh, but but beyond that, like I'm really pleased with how this space looks and with how like this area looks. Like we've got this entire space for education boards and and uh, warning signs and things like that. Sorry, I'm <laughs> looking at the signs, not looking at the animals over here. That's taking a nap. Fair enough. I don't think I've seen them use these spaces, like these uh, these climbing platforms and stuff too much, which is a little unfortunate, but they are using the entirety of the space at least. They are running around and they're running about and being seen. I don't think guests really complain about the lack of their views and stuff. Oh good, the bench is being used as well. Let's get to see. Maybe add some more benches actually. Not a lot of benches in this area. There you are. Hopping away. Love your button, my face. Thank you. This is like a <laughs> little congregation over here. Making some nefarious plans. Electing a new king, perhaps. God, they are so cute. They are so cute. Alright, moving on. The lighting is so beautiful. Um... The lighting is very beautiful. It's so... With the trains and stuff. It, it's the exact vibe that I was hoping for in this space, you know? Almost makes me want to leave the stations open top. We'll think of something. We'll think of something. This is great. Uh, but yes, now we can go ahead and, uh, and spend some more time with the Warthogs. I don't want to give them the short end of the stick. Spend some more time with these guys. Any major alerts? Now it looks like we're okay. We have something over here. We're fine. Research being completed. Uh, I do need to take care of the uh, contraceptives and stuff over here as well. These guys, I think a few too many of them are on contraceptives. We'll have to take care of their um, their breeding situation because we've had a bit of inbreeding. We've had we have a huge population. I think we have to do another quick check on these guys. They are uh, they breed aggressively. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Oh, that's cool. I didn't realize this animation ended with stuff actually like appearing up top. Huh? Cool. I guess that's how they eat. Hey, buddy. Oh, they're so cute. Food? Oh my god. From one spot for food to, to another. Oh, look at that. Look at that run. <laughs> Just desperate to get here as soon as possible. Oh, and there's that one. Oh, they're so cute. Oh god. Clipping was a little terrifying, but otherwise, they're so cute. <laughs> so great. Is there more food on the other side? Ah, you want to drink. It's not often that I put down a water pipe as opposed to a natural kind of like body of water kind of a thing, but it is neat to do it from time to time. Draws oh, hey, nice. More uh, capuchin babies. Excellent. We can stress a little less. Glad I, glad I caught that. Excellent. All right. Over to our gorgeous lions. They're all taking a nap. You're going to join them? Are we just going to get a bunch of sleeping lions? It's like a proper visit to the zoo. It's a proper... Yep. Yeah, of course. 
It's it's you know it's a real visit to the, to the zoo when you go to the lions and they're all lying down. And that's not even that's not even that wasn't even me making a pun. It's just that's just a, that's just it. There's like nine out of ten times I remember as a kid being like, oh my god, I want to see the lions. Again, I love Lion King as a kid, right? Oh my god, I love Lion King as an adult. I love Lion King. There, that's a that's a present continuous statement. Um, so being like, you know, I really want to check out the lions. Obviously, every time you arrive, they're sleeping. If you're lucky, they're sleeping in plain sight. I've had more luck since then. The last time I went to Toronto Zoo, I actually got to see uh, the lions getting fed um, by like an animal talk kind of a thing, like the animal talk equivalent. That was really cool. Um, just like learning about the, the lions and, and seeing them get like, I think it's like half their meal while uh, while waiting for uh, like for the quote unquote show for the talk. And then the, the, the other half they get uh, after or before. You're just going to, man. Why? Hey there. Don't go down that way. There's probably the foot. No cubs right now, eh? Like food has arrived. You're gonna run over food, or you're gonna you're gonna give us the shot that we want. Come on, you know you want to. Yes, come on, come on. Yes, yes, excellent, beautiful. Oh my God, yes. Couldn't have asked for a better shot. The line down below was like, "Hey, hang on a second. I should be up there." Ah, oh, this is great. This is great. The sky is beautiful. The vibrant blue, the the the, the sort of brown orange of the of the rock, the the, the, the green to the side there. Oh man, that was that was that was great. <laughs> that was great. Alright, that's the uh, the lions done. Uh so I guess yeah, next up we can I mean We'll spend less time with the hyenas and whatnot today, just because we've been spending so much time with the hyenas, the uh, painted dogs, and the um, the dingoes over these last handful of episodes as we establish their uh, spaces. But I uh, I gotta let myself get distracted by the babies for a little bit at least, right? Yeah, cutie. <laughs> that legit sounded like a little giggle. <laughs> oh. Feisty. I wish I could catch interactions more often. Right, let's take a look at our uh, painted dog. Oh my god, they're so cute. <laughs> Animal has escaped. Oh, don't teleport me over. Oh, oh, this is a different problem. Oh, right, right, right. You know what? I was reminded of this in the comments as well, and I made note of it, and then I completely, completely slipped my mind. It's because... I had to adjust this and I didn't edit it back. Oh, come on now. That should do the trick. You guys do. Nothing in particular. Oh, come on. Every single one of them is going to take a dump while, while the camera's on them. Uh, where'd the puppers go? There they are. Oh, yes. Always a good time when there's puppers about. Like, honestly, they could do anything and I'd just be pleased. It's like, oh, they're running? Yeah, so exciting. <laughs> oh, they're standing there? So exciting. <laughs> oh, they're cute. All right, next up, a little dingoes over here. Meal time, is it? Again, just so cute. I can't decide which one of the, 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 the puppy types are my favorites. This, I mean, I'm taking quite a shine at this guy, actually. He looks... He's got, like, the... I, <laughs> he just looks like a dog. He's, like, just... Just a dog. Oh, you're gonna have a lie down? Oh my god, yes. You know what you did. Don't act so casual. You know you're a dog. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, another meal. With a couple meals, actually. That's so weird. I mean, do we not have enough uh, feeding spots, I guess, maybe? Maybe I should make some more so the food doesn't just get dumped on the ground. Of course, going over here for a uh, for drink of water. Ah, uh, not that I can see it. Oh, what is this? 
what is this? That ain't right. So now we've had Slender Bear, we've had that monkey with the weird face and, and... I don't know, is this, is this what they call Upward Dog? I don't do yoga. Oh my god, this, this is actually terrifying though. Okay. Okay, away from that. Over to our koalas. Again, this space still needs a lot of work. There's still like, the outer ring still needs a lot of work, but I figure once we do the, uh, the cassowaries, we'll come, uh, we'll come back here and, uh, and, and beautify this space as well. I know I said we'd do it with the dingoes, but, uh, obviously, moving targets, right? Where are you? There you are. Possible to find you guys. Caused me a lot of trouble lately, haven't you? Oh, there's another one. <laughs> They're so cute. Look at that innocent face. Look at that, like, I don't know, there's something about, like, the full cheeks, the, the big old eyes. Absolutely adorable. Absolutely or adorable. And of course, we're gonna make our way over the kangaroos. This was another fun enclosure. Oh, playing some football here. Uh, this was, I mean, again, just the, the 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 amount of research that I got to do, and I got to explore the the, the all the. Uh, learning that I was able to take away the the you know iconography the symbols and things like that the use of circles obviously the first uh, exposure to the DLC there was a there was a lot of reasons to to, to like there was a lot going on for this enclosure it was a lot of fun it was a lot of fun it was a struggle as well getting those circles right and everything of course but you know usually that's uh, that's part of the fun You know, time over here. There's so many of them now, too. So many of them. Oh, look at this guy all scarred up. He's been in some fights. Oh, so majestic looking. That, like, turn away. That was, that was great. <laughs> that was great. Do we have any babies? Any joys to bring joy? Yo, I could go for some watermelon right now. Is this not a sight? That is great. <laughs> this is great. All that hopping about. Moment to just sit down and enjoy a meal with the family. <laughs> one by one. Rise up. And then they trample on their food. Alright, cool. <laughs> Folks. Look at that. Like misty kind of like lens flare. Oh man, this game really something. It just, just stands out sometimes, doesn't it? It's absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous, folks. This is though we're gonna have to call it a session. Hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, I believe I believe we caught all the animals. I really hope I didn't miss anybody. We of course have our. You know, I did miss. I know I missed somebody over here. These guys almost slithered by me. Quite a few of you. We're probably going to have to empty the space out a little bit, actually. We're not going to zoom in on the roaches. <laughs> Come on. You were just sticking your tongue out. I saw you. There we go. Beautiful. And with that, and this unfortunate news that we'll have to tackle next time, folks, we're going to call it a session. I do believe we got all the animals. If I missed anybody, let me know. I'm fairly certain we got... Yep. 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 Yep, 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 and yep, 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 yes, definitely, yes, yes, yeah, wow. Yeah, cool, awesome, we actually managed to, to get the whole zoo in. Went a little bit over time, but that's fine, not not the end of the world. Folks, if you enjoyed, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel, what to do more or less of, how I go about doing it. Again, y'all know the drill by now. If you've... Uh, been enjoying the show as well, again, and as always, uh, if you've got any feedback, issues, uh, concerns, whatever it might be, I do read through all the comments, I do take it all to heart, I always try to like adjust my approach accordingly, uh, so do do keep that coming as well. Um, this, was a, this was fun, this was a fun bit of nostalgia and looking back, 
75 episodes. Wild. Absolutely wild. Thank you for joining me on this journey so far, and uh, I look forward to seeing how much further it'll go. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. You'll keep these kinds of long-term series alive and running smoothly. I appreciate it greatly. And of course, a big old thanks to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Cheers.